And Canada is looking at capturing the electric vehicle wave and will include an investment of at least $1.6 billion for a strategy to accelerate the production and processing of critical minerals. Through the radar, the battle for the secret ingredient that will power our future. You can call it the new gold, you can call it the new oil, the new strategic fuel. I'm talking about the battle for rare earths. What are rare earths? As they, it will make investment to ramp up extraction of processing of critical minerals, including nickel, lithium, cobalt and magnesium. The tree has roughly one third of the world's reserves of rare earth elements, more than 36% of the global reserve. And as of today, it accounts for 90% of the global production. No prizes for guessing which country we're talking about. In today's era, war is not just fought by missiles or tanks, but also by dominating the world through critical minerals. The Economic Survey 2223 mentioned critical minerals as the next geopolitical battleground, just as crude oil has been for more than five decades. It is necessary for any country to access them for its economical and social security. So what are these critical minerals? Cobalt, Lithium, Nickel. These minerals are used in defense equipment such as aircrafts, night vision goggles, missiles and radars. They are also required in quantum computing devices, wind turbines, solar panels, EVs, batteries and medical diagnostics and imaging equipments. You see, as we transition to clean energy, we need more and more of such critical minerals even to implement the transition. The prices of cobalt and lithium are skyrocketing as the demand is far higher than its supply. Demand is expected to increase between 24x and 50x. So where does India stand in the race for the new black gold? Firstly, let's understand why China is dominating this space. Well, as of 2019, 60% of mining and 85% of processing of critical minerals is done in China. It has high share of production of cobalt, lithium, copper and nickel. This poses a significant geopolitical risk and China may misuse its dominant market position. Hence, diversifying the critical mineral supply chain is become more and more important for several countries including India. In response to this concern, many countries like US, Australia, Japan and Canada have formulated strategies which include reducing reliance on imports, diversifying supply base, increasing domestic exploration and production, financial incentives for investment, funding for R&D, technological development, establishing joint ventures, developing substitutes, improving reuse or recycling, and internal policy coherence and alignment between agency for improved coordination. U.S. provides financial support to domestic supply chains for critical minerals. Regional sourcing requirements have been introduced. For example, not less than two-fifths of critical mineral requirements used in EV batteries will have to be extracted and processed in U.S. only. EU has also introduced such requirement that is, at least process 40%, recycle 15%, produce 10% of the annual consumption of critical mineral. Another limb of the mineral strategy is forging partnerships as it allows diversification of suppliers. In short, resort to friend shoring, that is, make a friend who produces or processes critical minerals. For example, 11 OECD countries have come together to form mineral security partnership. Australia, Canada, US are actively engaged in forming alliances. So what is India's strategy? India is working towards exploiting possibilities of lithium and cobalt mine acquisition. In 2019, it set up a Khanij Bidesh India Limited, a joint venture of three public sector enterprises under the Ministry of Mining, to identify and acquire critical mining assets overseas. When it comes to leveraging upon external relationships, India has shaken its hands with Australia for due diligence of mineral assets for final joint investment decisions with an initial investment of $6 million. Bilateral trade worth USD $23 billion have been made duty-free. 
This will reduce the cost of imports of critical minerals. For domestic production of critical minerals, India is investing on geological surveys, creation of mineral so resource maps, attracting FDI in mining, setting up of mineral refining and processing industries, recycling of batteries and e-waste. Recently, huge reserves of lithium deposits were found in Karnataka and JNK. 15 rare earth elements were found in Andhra Pradesh's Anantpur district. Indeed, this is a big help in becoming Atmanirbhar Bharat. All in all, a stable and secure critical mineral supply chain is essential to India's national security and support the adoption of green technology.